I'm Richard Arnold. Uh, personal experience of carbon monoxide, a very dear friend of mine nearly lost her life uh, seven years ago. It was a wintry January night. She'd been out for a jog. She was training for a half marathon at the time. Uh, as she tells me, uh, she was on a date. Uh, so she had a quick turnaround, thought she'd take a bath. As I say, it was very cold. So she cranked up the heating. The boiler was uh, chugging away. And while she was in the bath, she remembers feeling uh, nauseous, felt like a headache was coming on, put it down to the fact she hadn't eaten enough uh, and gone and exercised on an empty stomach. Uh, got out of the bath, was about to put on her makeup, and the next thing she remembers is her flatmate coming back and waking her up. She was slumped on the floor in the living room uh, in her towel. Uh, fortunately for the girls, they lived in a basement flat and there was no mobile signal. Henrietta's flatmate had to go outside to phone for an ambulance, by which point a rush of oxygen uh, came into the flat and Henrietta gradually started to come round. But she said the, the, uh, the feeling was absolutely horrendous. Her brain couldn't communicate with her lips. She was trying to, you know, call for help. And she was completely immobile. An hour later, there was still 35% carbon monoxide in her blood. Important to uh, point out is that uh, Henrietta's boiler had been checked by a reputable agent. Uh, she had a safety certificate uh, for In fact, the chap had described it as the Rolls Royce of boilers, a little bit old. Um, but nevertheless in perfect working order. Um, had she had an audible carbon monoxide alarm, of course, she would have been alerted to the fact that carbon monoxide was at a very sinister level in her flat. I think there's a lack of understanding about the dangers of carbon monoxide uh, because the emphasis has always been on uh, smoke alarms, or certainly in recent memory, which is why, commendably, 91% of homes in the UK have uh, a smoke alarm. And, of course, uh, in all new builds, smoke alarms have to be fitted. Uh, as yet, there is no legislation forcing... Uh, builders to put in uh, carbon monoxide alarms, which is something we want to change uh, with this campaign. Uh, only a third of the country have uh, carbon monoxide alarms, which uh, leaves over 16 million homes uh, still at risk. Symptoms to look out for uh, that could mean you have carbon monoxide uh, poisoning. You might feel woozy, nauseous, you might associate that with uh, food poisoning, uh, headaches of course, any kind of flu-like symptoms. Now that sounds very basic. But the real key is if you're suffering any of those symptoms, if you feel better when you leave your house, your flat, wherever you live, and you find yourself recovering, that's your first clue that there could be a dangerous level of carbon monoxide in your house. The campaign, Carbon Monoxide uh, Be Alarmed, is obviously to raise awareness on the dangers of carbon monoxide in the home, to stress the importance of having an audible carbon monoxide alarm uh, in the home, which can cost, what, 15 to 20 quid from any DIY shop, so it's not that expensive when you consider the value of a life. Uh, also, it wants to encourage uh, legislation. I'm a landlord myself. I have to have my uh, boiler checked for my tenant every year and have a gas safety certificate, but there's no legislation yet forcing me to put a carbon monoxide alarm in the home. So that's what we want to uh, get across. And also uh, legislation, as I say, for new builds to include those carbon monoxide alarms in their homes. For more information, very simple, go to the internet, www.co-bealarmed.co.uk.